guys, I am back for another Amberlynn Reed React. I know what's new. So on this glorious Saturday day, our girl has uploaded a video saying she has side effects from her meds, I'm pretty sure. So we will definitely see how this plays out. I haven't watched it yet. Because as you guys know, I was behind and I uploaded the other video late today. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Hey guys. Hey so guys. I just woke up a little bit ago. Yesterday, Did you now? I, remember I went to the ER, got some antibiotics. Yes. How are those antibiotics treating you, Amberlynn? I was actually able to get those today. Yesterday I wasn't able to because the pharmacy closed early since it was a Sunday and I didn't get them, but I got them today. So the pill one, I'm shaking it. I don't want to like show you any personal information on there, but I have to take two capsules by mouth. No. Three times a day. It says I have to take it with food and I have to drink a full glass of water each time. So what for you know what it is with our girl in water, she don't drink it. What freaks me out actually is the ointment. I don't want to show any personal information, but here it is. I have to do that two times a day and I have to actually put it on there. But there's steroids in this. So I'm freaked out. I've never had a steroid on my body, in my body. So I'm kind of just like, ah! I just, I have really bad anxiety when it comes to taking medicine. And I started crying. I know it's like kind of dumb, but that's just part of my anxiety that I have is medicine induced anxiety or whatever it's called I can't really control it I'm just gonna have to get over it but it's just like I constantly think about all of the bad things that can happen to you for taking medicine and like I read everything because I give you like pages every time you get a um, prescription yeah it's for informational purposes um not gonna say anymore and I just read it all and it's terrifying because every single one is like you can die you can get this you can get that you can get this I'm just like okay hey guys so it is actually the next day I just wanted to say hello I do have some packages over there from Bath and Body Works so I just got back uh Becky and Eric had an appointment today and I was like you know what I'm going to tag along, get out of the house. So that's where I went, hello. I kind of wanted to document this. I am actually on day four or five of taking my mood stabilizer. If you guys didn't watch my old vlog, I um, recently got diagnosed with being bipolar and I just wanted to document this. I also wrote this down. It's something that I need to pay attention to, but I woke up this morning super early and i had a very bad nightmare i don't want to go into detail because honestly it was so horrible that it kind of has ruined a lot of my day to be honest and i ended up actually falling asleep after that and i had another nightmare so i don't ever dream that's <laughs> something i just don't do who doesn't dream it is true though some medicines can give you some really bizarre dreams um and if she's having those dreams and they are say they're nightmares she probably should consult her doctor uh you never know but uh, maybe this is a ploy just to stop her medication i don't know anyways i've been told that everyone dreams but i don't remember my dreams it's very once in a blue moon I will say though, when I was on Lexapro, I remembered my dream every. Didn't she just say she doesn't dream? So I don't ever dream. Okay. Single night. But I haven't been on Lexapro in a very, very long time. So me, when I'm not on any medicine or just whatever, just like normal Amberlynn, I don't have nightmares. I never have nightmares. And most importantly, I don't remember my dreams ever, whether they're a nightmare or a dream. I. I think what I my mom my, my mom always used to tell me is you only remember your dreams that you need to figure out 
maybe your dream is telling you something. I mean, obviously that's what they are, but you remember them because you, you're supposed to figure it out. Anyway. I had a very gruesome, actually two very gruesome nightmares in a row in the same night. And I remember them detail by detail. And I don't know if it's the medicine. I'm sure it's, you know, like I literally am having my chemicals, you know, rewired kind of on this medicine. So it's just something I really need to pay attention to. And I do see my psychiatrist again in three weeks. So if this keeps up, I'm definitely going to mention it. And I'm going to be documenting all of it. That's important. Especially if you start having like weird symptoms. But if it's like literally just coincidence, I'm not, I'm probably not going to like mention anything. But besides that. See what she says? She's not going to mention anything. What did I say in my last video? If you're not mentioning what's going on with you, how is a doctor supposed to dig deep and see what's going on? You need to be fully transparent with your doctor. They're not psychics. But I'm doing pretty good. Day two of antibiotics. It still hurts, but it's not like as bad. So that's a good sign. Um, it's not bleeding. That's good, and I hope you are keeping it clean. You don't want to get worse. Being as much, maybe the antibiotics are helping. Maybe it's just you know. the antibiotics are helping. It's antibiotics are there to help kill infection. So yeah, it is helping. No giving it time. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. So the candles. So when you're experiencing side effects, candles will cure it. I've seen a lot of these candles already. I don't know if you guys ever watch um, Sophia or Sophia Nagard, and she bought like a hundred different of these candles. And yeah, I've seen all of these. These are the candles we got from Bath and Body Works. I'm very sad though because look, two of them came in the small box. Another side note is that she literally has enough candles to last her until the apocalypse. That's a lot of candles. I get it. People like to collect things. But sometimes it gets a little, a little too far. Completely ruined. Like, look. I was most excited for this one. This oh, is you guys can still use them. Just take the glass off of them and put it on some tin foil. There you go. Stress relief. Look how it came. So I'm either going to go buy Bath and Body Works, see what they can do, or contact Bath and Body Works. Something. But that's just... That's like $50 down the drain, just right there. Money is no object. Apparently. Oh, okay. Those two. So these are the ones we got. Pink Apple Punch, Island Margarita, Sundress, In Love With This Packaging, Coastal Watermelon, Also In Love With This One, Bingham, I think? Jim Jim! Jim. <laughs> Uncle Becky does not look happy right now. What's the matter, Uncle Becky? Seriously, what's the matter? Becky does not look amused right now. Oh, so I might be right? I don't know. Pineapple Mango actually smells better than you think. It smells so good. We have a berry waffle cone, which the packaging is one of my favorites. I'm most excited for. <laughs> Candles. They're so awesome. If this goes on, I'm probably gonna speed it up. Hey guys. Hey so guys. The next day, I know you guys saw me wear this, and not yesterday, but the day before. This is usually what I do. Well, I mean, yeah, we see you in that same exact bra every day for the past four years. No, nothing. Let's put on when I'm just chilling at home or about to go to bed. Um, so you'll see me like when I wake up, I'll be wearing this when like it's late at night and I'm like done for the day, like doing things, I'll be wearing this and there isn't such thing as a washer and dryer. So anyways, the fact that it's just because you wash it and dry it doesn't mean that it should be worn anymore, <laughs> especially when it's like stained and holy and you know, just, that's just a sign to throw it out do like a disclaimer on that it's silly willy so tomorrow is the day that we have all everybody oh my gosh what is this day what is it me you Britney Spears 
Kanye West, Spongebob, the police officer down the street, the ant on my wall on the other side of this freaking wall. The moment we have all been waiting for, I am going to the weight loss doctor. I am nervous, I am scared, and I actually weighed myself today for the first time in like two weeks. And I actually lost a couple pounds from the last time I weighed in, so I'm actually shocked about Where's that. the proof? Hello, here's a picture of my cat, Rarity Gray. I'm actually here from the future. I'm Kitty. currently editing this, but I just want to say in this video when I said I was- Girl, you don't edit your videos. Down a few pounds. I was actually down six pounds. And the only reason why I know that is because I later on that night looked at my notebook, so I just wanted to clarify. I feel like seeing the weight loss doctor tomorrow is going to like just change- everything i mean i don't believe her that she lost that weight i mean <laughs> there's no way um where's proof so you're binging and doing all that fun stuff until you see the doctor what is where is where's that i can't take it as face value my babe just walked in the room so i'll be right back okay i'm back becky's been gone all day she had like family time with her family and some that's good, Uncle Becky. I'm glad you got out of that house. Sometimes I'll go with her, and sometimes I just feel like it's appropriate for someone to spend time with their family alone. What do you guys think? Anyways, so like I was saying, I just feel like tomorrow, I want to say my life's going to change, but that could be, you know, me just being way too over-optimistic about the situation, which is better than me being, like, a pessimist, I guess. But it's like... I'm kind of going back and forth. I'm like, oh, my life's about to change. Yay, I finally have, you know. I'm Didn't you just say in your last video you can't change things? I'm having like a team of people help me with my mental and with my physical and with my weight and all this stuff. Like I'm finally like forming a team for that. I want to feel like that's going to help me. But then I also have that little negative thing in my head where I'm just like, okay. This is what makes you fail at everything that you do. Everything you bring up is negative. You think of negative things that are going to happen and guess what? It happens. So maybe you should stop thinking that way. You know, just a thought. If a weight loss doctor, you know, was so common and so easy would like no one would be fat. Like, I know that's like a weird way to think of it, but anyways. But I'm trying to be more on the positive side where I'm just like, tomorrow's the day that I have to go grocery shopping and I'm going to create a whole new, you know, life for myself based on what he thinks I should do to lose weight. I kind of sort of might have kind of maybe sort of got Sonic. So what I got... That's, it's not new. It's whatever. It's, <laughs> it's to be expected, of course. From there is literally just a cheeseburger. Sure, I know Jan. Like, You're a liar. I'm dead ass. Like I literally just got a cheeseburger. Sure, Jan. See, that's just the that's just the bag. There was plenty other bags that came with that order, girl. Oh, you're funny. There is nothing else in there. See, I did get a Sprite Zero. I got a slushie. So Sonic does have good slushies. Uh, when I was pregnant, side note, I loved. The dill pickle slushy. I had one like every day. It was it was bad. It was bad. Pregnant women really do love pickles. Yeah. Oh yeah, Becky got a slushy. What kind is it? It's a small grape nerd. Yeah, those are good. Grape nerd? That sounds good. Yeah, I didn't get one. She's not eating sweets because of her tooth. And. Maybe you should see a dentist because you can't leave rotting teeth in your jaw um, because it does cause infections in your bone. Um, isn't that why they do that whole 3D scan every, what, three or four years? I think it's my, my dentist said. Yeah, it's not smart, girl. You should see a dentist. I didn't get a slushie. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Ugh. But with my tooth, I don't want like any sugar. So I got a Sprite Zero. So I mean, that's gonna be good. But yeah, how I like my cheeseburgers, literally the most simplest way ever. I like it easy. Okay, it's just mayonnaise, cheese, and I hope there's onion on there. 
I don't like ketchup. I don't like tomato. It, no thanks. So I either like it like that or I just like it completely plain because it's just how. Because your favorite girl, Trisha, likes everything plain. What I am and what I like. So I'm gonna enjoy that. And oh, by the way, I had no nightmares last night. So maybe it was a coincidence and I just had a really bad night's sleep for some reason. But it could be. You could be getting used to medicine. But it also can be a side effect. But if it keeps going on, yeah, you should bring it up to your doctor. Again, I'm trying to be optimistic about everything. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna eat this burger. Normally, like I'm gonna be honest, normally when I get Sonic, I'm like binging or like super overeating and like being crazy. See, that's why I lost a couple pounds. Maybe I can tell you, I'm gonna say I lost a couple pounds. Like normally, <laughs> I would get a burger. I'm, this is so embarrassing. I would get like a cheeseburger, but it would be a double. That is not a double, what I just showed you guys. I would get a double and they have the best chili cheese fries. I would get a large, you guys. Not even kidding. I would get a large side of their onion rings. For some reason, it just like reminds me of the fair. I don't know why. So it's like a reminiscent thing, but it's like so good. And I would also get one of their, I think they're called blizzards or blasts or something. I don't know. So it's like, I I think this blizzards are McDonald's thing, aren't they? Maybe they're blasts. I don't know. I would get a lot, but it's like I'm trying to also be like in my right mind because I know tomorrow's gonna. I feel like I'm gonna. You wanted your last hurrah. You just said in your last video that you're gonna eat whatever you want because you're going to see the weight loss doctor. And what did I say? That was a classic 600 pound mentality. Oh, and side note, I like to pick at this because I'm reacting. It's a reaction video. And I, I kind of do it for my haters. They think I'm, you know, too rude or I'm trolling. So I thought I would um, continue doing more of it. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a little bitchy, but ah, who cares? Me, like, changing my life a little bit, you know? So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep you guys like, updated on that stuff. But you know, I didn't get fries, I didn't get anything, I really just wanted the cheeseburger, so I think if I lost a couple pounds instead of gaining, because you guys know, more than anyone, I gain weight like that. And she ends it like that. Awesome. Cool. Well, I just know you guys, if you guys have side effects with medicine, go buy some candles because they cure it all. I was being sarcastic there, if you didn't know. <laughs> Anyways, um... It's another Amberlynn Reed video. Um, we probably could have done without the whole candle review. Honestly, it would have been better as a video on its own. But you know, it's me. But if you are new to my channel and you want to subscribe, please tap that subscribe button and also tap that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Yes. A lot of things are coming. Um, also, oh, before I go, okay, so, I don't know, maybe over the next couple of videos, um, I want to do like, maybe like a, like a Q&A, maybe, depending on if I get some questions or whatever, so if you want to ask me a question, put it in the comments below, if you want a shout out, put it in the comments below, and, yeah, that is it for the rest of the night, I'm going to go ahead and get this edited. But thank you to all my wonderful subscribers. I'm now a little over 800. Thank you so much. I'm ecstatic. I'm elated. I'm everything. I wouldn't be here with.